somewhere we're here tonight. Say thank you to this brother here. I want you to hear this. You trusting Negroes. Trustworthy. Have you ever looked at a soda pop bottle or can? You know there's an expiration date. Which means after you go past that date, it don't turn into poison that will kill you, but you're not supposed to put it in your body. So you're supposed to throw it away. New York Times, here's New York Times. Some black folks and some white folks got tired of doing this. So they reported to the FDA that for 20 years, they take all, this is Coca-Cola, they take all the expired soda out of the white neighborhood, take it to a warehouse in northern Dallas, scrape the labels, the date, and redate it, and send it to the black community. You think they're not doing it at the pharmaceutical company? Right. All right. Huh? Okay. So here comes the brother here. Sees the doctor here. And the doctor gives him a prescription for his blood pressure. He come back in two weeks and the blood pressure has gone up. The doctor thinks he's not taking the medicine. You don't know, he don't know, that stuff has expired in the white forms. Right. They sent it to the black forms and there's no juice in it. Huh? So all at once now, you start crying because the doctor here think I'm lying. So the doctor feels sorry and writes you a prescription twice, twice as strong than that a kid. Niggas get killed every day, every day. This is the New York Times. Listen. Workers contend Coke sent old soda to poor neighbors. Slow it up, slow it up. Listen to this now. From the shade of the loading dock, watching the big rigs shed. Now wait a minute. This is how you got to read this. Read it again, slow. Listen to this. From the shade of the loading dock. Watching the big rigs shed paint. Now see how that works? You can't associate what they're fixing to say. From the shade of the loading dock. <laughs> <laughs> you see how that thought Now go ahead, read that again. From the shade. From the shade of a loading dock. Watching the big rigs shed payloads of leftover Coca Cola for supermarkets in the black neighborhoods. Of now you see that? Oh, see where they're dropping? Uh, in the black neighborhood. Go ahead. William D. Wright says he learned how to keep quiet and do as he was told. For years, he says, he stripped expired soda cans from the cardboard shelves and stuffed them into fresh boxes with new dates stamped on the side, then piled them on the store shelves as, they were, as if they were new. As long as they had no leaks, dented cans were sometimes repackaged it was all part of what his co-workers called the fire cell. You hear that? Huh? You hear that? You think you safe? Huh? You. Your children. Huh? That's right. Why? So what you need to do? White folks ain't stupid. Why you think they buying by the water? Huh? <laughs> See, the horrible thing about water you can't see dirt in it. You can't see. Now, how many of y'all know this Chinese doctor, scientist, that will give you a glass of water? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Give you a glass of water, clean, and then say, just think about somebody you hate and what happens to the water. It turns black. Huh? The water. And then you 
say, I love you, I love you, I love you, what happened? Oh, back to me. Huh? Back to me. 